Welcome to Tokyo, everybody. This is where I live. This is, uh, well, not on this road, actually. I live not too far away. I guess you call this my neighborhood, but this road here that cuts past the Imperial Palace and Hibiya Park right there, there's the Imperial Palace, starts right around here, Harumi Avenue or Harumi Dori. This avenue cuts straight through the heart of Ginza. And we're gonna be walking underneath the Shinkansen tracks, going past one of the most expensive real estate areas in the world, Ginza Yonchome, making our way through some shops, through a closed pedestrian street on the weekends, and then to Kabukiza, which is the theater where Kabuki takes place. That's the name, Kabukiza. I hope you're excited. Buckle in for about a 30 minute episode. There goes the Shinkansen. Woo! So I love this road. It is so convenient. Again, it starts right there, uh, but if you keep on going straight, you pretty much get to the parliament building, which is where the, the government's offices is, where they vote and all this other political stuff. And if you just go around the Imperial Palace a little bit and then go straight on 246, you're in Shibuya. So this road, I would say, cuts through the heart of the city of Tokyo. So I thought it would be a pretty interesting theme to focus on this. There goes a Yamanote line cutting through. This starts Hibiya Station. Underneath me is Hibiya Station. And if you just walk a little bit to the left here, you'll get to Yurakcho and eventually Tokyo Station. This is the Maruno Uchi Nakadori. I've had a couple of live streams here. It's beautiful during the Christmas times and I think they're just about setting up the Christmas lights or they already have them up. Oh, sorry, for those that uh, know this area better than me, maybe. That's where um, the new uh, um, Hibiya Midtown building is, a big shopping mall and office buildings here. And behind there is a massive Godzilla statue. That's the one where you wanna take a picture next to. It's gotten more ferocious. It used to be a lot smaller, but they changed it to a more modern looking you know, the kind of Godzilla that will eat you alive. Not a guy in a suit, but actually real looking. Um, again, there's a sign right there. that says Hibiya Park 200 meters in Ginza Station. We're walking towards Ginza Station now along Harumi Dori. And there might be some street food. Cody S is here. How's it going? Mr. Donut or Takoyaki Fun. Oh, Taiyaki Fun. Ooh, that sounds good. In corner, do you see it all boarded up? A very sad state indeed, but due to the laws and all the other stuff with non-smoking and the Olympics coming and revitalizing the area, they had to close down the vending machine corner, which was such an important place. Underneath the tracks here, you have some old style restaurants that have been modernized for tourists. Thus, not a lot of locals will eat down underneath here, the concourse. Here, but there's a lot of neat posters. The roof is very interesting to look at. A lot of it has not changed since the Showa period, which is about 40, 30, 30 something years ago. It ended uh, in the 1980s. Went all the way through the World War II and Vietnam war era. Let's wait for the traffic crossing here. Harumi Avenue, Harumi Dori. Oh, I love this road. Again, it's by the Imperial Palace, goes straight through Ginza, and then we go past, if we keep going, uh, Tsukiji Market, and then over the bridge to Kachidoki, which we've done a live stream on, and then to the Harumi area, which is a, uh, a man-made island, and eventually to the new Toyosu Market. And if you kept going straight, you'd get to the Pacific or Tokyo Bay. I think it's the Pacific or Tokyo Bay. Let's just say the main body of water. Hey, Antares. N-A-E, nay nay. Let's see if I can find, let's see what we, we can find along the way. I'm doing my best to social distance here as well, so. Trying to stay a good two, three meters away. It's not so easy because on the weekend people are out and about. 
tour total pork <laughs> right in here the magic of 720p yes when the signal is clean it is magical indeed and i see sam carver got here first with his super chat thank you sam it's awesome beautiful blue sky afternoon in november that feels more like september like an end of september just a slight chill but that sun has given us a really warm afternoon. This bus cuts through Harumi Avenue, actually. It goes straight to um, Big Sight, which is a huge convention area. Used to be where the Tokyo Marathon uh, ended, but now that convention hall for most of them have been canceled, so that area is like a ghost town. I'm not going to say too much about about what's what they're talking about right here, but it's a, the conservative party. Kanai tells me to stay away from them. I don't know. Ultra ultra right side, I guess. I don't get too much into the political stuff, but all the politicians and uh, uh, in Japan don't adhere to like noise policies they just have a megaphone and decide that's nice Merry Christmas I think we make this light social distance social distance social distance this is Sukiyabashi And underneath here in the basement would be where Jiro Sushi is. That guy who was in the documentary that's 100 years old making sushi. Yeah, he's here. Hey, Irvin Irvine's here. 2345. Shane, WRX Turbo. Looks like the three amigos. John Kimono's chiming in. Food and drink fund. Is that for Toby or for us? I see John picked the most flattering image. <laughs> this here is the Tokyo Plaza. This was built not too long ago, and I've, I've shown you this a couple of times, but it's, what's one more, right? Up on the top is a beautiful observation point, and from here, that corner, you can stand right there and look down on this Tsukiyabashi intersection, and it's just stunning. I love the angles and the viewpoints that you can, you can view this, and it'll look down on Harumi, Do Harumi Avenue here. But if you go across the street here, you see above, that's the highway uh, that I've driven many times. It's scary as hell. And then above, beyond there is the Shinkansen tracks where we've already walked underneath there. How you doing? How did you find me? Yes, you were. Here? Yeah, it's the closest one. This is our neighbor, Spencer. Hi, oh, don't look at my shirt. <laughs> oh, don't look at your shirt. Why, why? It's another YouTuber. <laughs> you got other YouTubers? How dare you? <laughs> How have you been? I. Tired, cold, tired mostly. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> it's a it's a busy life. I noticed your attire, sir. Shorts. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> it's a be it is indeed. It's, it's, it's a beautiful what? day. 68 degrees out Fahrenheit, something like that. 68 Fahrenheit. That's really nice. This would yeah. be perfect. How about you? What are you doing here? I'm just kind of walking down Harumi Avenue, oh, okay. showing the people. Uh, I've already done Ginza a million times. I figured I'd show something different oh are you gonna go down to the, uh, yeah down to kabukiza and uh then run to a jnto seminar that i have to give <laughs> at four o'clock that's a pretty oh maybe i hope so <laughs> well, i won't keep you too long I, it was good to see it how's 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 everything at disney this is our disney expert by the way spencer knows disney very well you can say if you want to say for a minute uh the tdr planning right tdr plans yeah T tdr plans on twitter, yeah. on twitter. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the one to go to right now. Oh, we can walk if you want. I oh, can, yeah, sure. I can loop back. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to avoid people so we can walk. Uh, <laughs> down this road. Yeah, down the side of the road. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, this is this is John style. <laughs> well, what's it like in uh, Tokyo Disneyland these days? Not fun. Uh, actually, I've been having a lot more fun when I get sent to Osaka to cover USJ. Honestly. Really? 
Yeah, I I went down there last week. I was in I was at both actually. I spent Tuesday and Wednesday at Disney for Christmas, and then USJ invited us down for their Christmas press event. Uh, and I had more fun in o in Osaka than I have been here, honestly. Wow! Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, there's nobody watching this. <laughs> so it's a secret. It is a massive secret. USJ uh, is. Studio Universal Studios Japan is doing better than Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah. They are. They, they really are. It's insane. Well, hopefully with the Wakuchin, which is vaccine in Japanese, everything will get a little bit better. Um, I believe that right here, this sign and this alley, or one of these, was in You Only Live Twice in the James Bond movie, where Aki in, the new car, in her car and Sean Connery were escaping. Um, people at Osato Chemicals and they drove past here, I believe. Uh, it's a lot different than it was back in the day, or a little bit further, maybe an intersection down there. The signs and buildings have changed quite a bit since the days of Connery and uh, 1964, I believe, was the name, was the date of that movie. May he rest in peace. Yeah, that was a huge loss. All I can think of. Because it was Connery and Trebek in the same week, all I can think of is Saturday Night Live. Yeah, we lost Trebek as well. That's very sad. Yes, <laughs> right? That's, yeah, Con Connery and Trebek. Connery always gave Trebek a hard time. This Saturday Night Live is a comedy skit. You had to be there. MJ Apostle, buy some snacks later. You got it. Jennifer French is here. I think I might go across the street and take you to Apollo. Maybe get see what kind of daifuku they have going on over there. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, let me know how long I can stay until I'm like intruding on your space. <laughs> and I follow you up just just to this intersection. I'll probably dive into somewhere. Yeah, they're calling it the surge here in Japan, right? So I ha I'm trying really hard to be careful. Thus, I come to Ginza on a weekend afternoon. <laughs> That's a good idea. That was it's a, a great idea. genius, right? It's, it's no better than going to crowded, oversold theme parks in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> Very smart. There are a couple of YouTubers that went to the Halloween in Shibuya as well. What are you thinking? Uh, well, that's where they're saying Go ahead, the dude. came from, too. Was, uh, people he really wanted to get ahead of us. Yeah, We're, Japan is undergoing a, a massive spike, especially here in Tokyo. They told everybody to stay home. Well, they haven't done that, right? Look how well that's working out. They, yeah. They told everyone in Sapporo to stay at home. Oh, Sapporo is stay at home. Tokyo is still okay. Another reason I'm going out because I think that we might have to stay home soon. Kind of uh, utilizing the... Well, I went, to, I went to Hokkaido last month and now I feel much better about doing that last month. Than yeah, right? Just like I'm so glad I went to uh, Europe for Christmas markets last year because uh, two months later, everything, the whole world changed. Yeah. It seems like 10 years ago now I was in uh, uh, Austria and Prague. I'm so lucky, I've never been to Europe. Really? Yeah, never. I've only been to the US. Wow. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to cross the street here when the light changes, but this is uh, Harumi Avenue, and this one here that cuts across it is Chuo Avenue, Chuo Dori. Again, if you go straight this way, it'll take you all the way to Shimbashi. I was saying again because I've featured this road like a bazillion times in live streams. And then if you go straight this way, it'll take you to Akihabara and eventually Ueno. Um, but this shopping street, is shut down on the weekends from 12 to 5 and it turns into this entirely too many people shopping but Japan's not as bad as the West but I would say that it's getting there and it's kind of still you these people are somewhat too complacent I think yeah I don't know I'll tell you just real quick before I go because I'm gonna, I don't want to keep it too long <laughs> I uh, one of my friends went and interviewed at an internship uh, the other week and she went she went uh, excuse me she went in and she found that no one was wearing masks and the ceo who was doing the interview said oh we only wear masks when there are clients around otherwise we don't wear masks what yeah i'm across the street here uh <laughs> that's insane and i noticed that like i don't know japan was always japan does a pretty good job though of doing that i guess because we had a, such a dip before people got a little bit too complacent and it's hard to get back into the oh my gosh this is really bad situation right so yeah yeah, I mean, everyone's feeling that fatigue right now. Right? Yeah, the fatigue is real, for sure. <laughs> I've literally come back to where I was. Oh, you were here? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel bad for imposing on you. No, not at all. Anytime. Spencer is always welcome. In fact, you are an emoji on our 
Discord server, right? Yeah, the last time I, I ducked in. Where's the right there? Okay. Well, it was good to see you. Nice Enjoy. to see you, Spencer. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs> don't look at my shirt. <laughs> okay, I won't. See you later. I don't even know who that creator was this, on his t-shirt. I don't, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> it's true. All right, I'm going to see if I can get... He's so dressed for summer. See you, Spencer. See you later. Tis the season for some mochi. Fa la 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 la. I will have a mochi dai fuku. Fa la 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 la. Ooh, matcha kudi dai fuku. Yes, please. Da 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 da. I have some daifuku money. Yes, please. It smells good. This is my favorite, my favorite Daifuku place. I've never seen the, the matcha kuri Daifuku. Hajimete. There's actually a line here. It's so popular. Wash your hands with alcohol. Fa la 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 la. Protect the people all around you. Fa la 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 la. Don't get sick and infect others. This song is a pr inappropriate. All right. Yeah. Colleen writes it's too early for Christmas. It is. That's unusual since the all of Japan has been in Christmas mode since the the minute that Halloween ended. Actually, Daifuku would be an amazing main channel episode, right? Really film it and get a story behind it and all the different kinds of Daifuku. This one here is really, really delicious too. I like this one. This one has um, the whole Anko beans inside of it, which is delicious. And again, this is on Harumi Avenue, part of uh, our special to show this amazing road. They really could speed up this line. Inside the shop, you see they got a lot of other confections. Uh, Akebono is uh, very famous here in uh, Japan, especially the location. This is not cheap real estate, so they got to do good business. So probably this, this Daifuku is about 100 yen more than anywhere else in, in Japan, just based on its location. But it is good. We're gonna get the matcha daifuku here with with kuri. Kuri is um, chestnut in Japanese or maron in French. Hi, uh, matcha kuri daifuku onegaimasu. Eko, hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm social distancing. That person is two meters away. Yeah, I think if you're waiting, you have to hum or have background music. At least people are waiting, you know? You gotta keep them entertained. 
YouTube 101. Marty Dittmer's here, so we do have the three amigos that have chimed in. Don't forget something for Kanai. You be you better believe it, actually. Ah, uh, hi! 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 That's my daifuku on the table. Fa la 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 la. I'll buy Kanai some fresh ones when I come back to home. Take the daifuku, run away. Stay away from the crowds of people. I'm not gonna eat it right here, cause it's really packed. Okay, move on. That is a cluster. I was trying to hold my breath, but it's very hard when you're humming and singing. Um, eat vicinity, Van City. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken sort of is is a thing here in Japan, but I think Westerners make it more of a thing than it really is. Everybody's so amazed that people eat Kentucky Fried Chicken in Japan. It's not really a big deal in Japan, and very, very, very few of my Japanese friends actually do that. But there's enough people who do it that makes it interesting. Here's Ginza um, Chuo Avenue. We're not going this way because our focus is all completely on Harumi Avenue. This way. So we're going to get away from these crowds, thank goodness. Closing my eyes, too. Try to protect myself. I love the concept cars that they have here. Datsun! That was a 1980s... Uh, we had a Datsun 510 when I was a kid. Sit in the back of the station wagon. Rock it. And there's, this is where the Sony headquarters are, so you can play with the 7, A7S III, but I ordered mine in August and it still hasn't come, so what's up with that, Sony? Do you think Kanai would like a hairless dog? Not sure. I think I would. We call him Aibo. We call him Aibo. I means love, by the way, in Japanese. All right, now that I've broke away from the crowds, I'm gonna just kind of look back and show you Wako. Now, Wako is the department store that's been here for a very long time. I believe going back to the Meiji era, or at least close to it, and every hour that bell will ring and you'll hear it all over. And, and uh, I know if you're walking down the avenue, you get a nice sense of, of time by hearing the bells of Wako pan down. There you go. Clock me by Seiko. It's gone, uh, undergone a res renovation and for those that don't know, just a little bit of an inside information here, the toilet on the top floor is the nicest toilet that I've ever been in in Japan. Just pointing that out. I know where all the really good toilets are. And some YouTubers have tried to point them out, but they're completely off base. They have not visited the toilets that I visited. And thank goodness for that. One of the things that I love about Ginza are the streets, the avenues. Going off of the main street, the main avenue, Chuodori, you're going to find uh, so many interesting shops. And the thing is, it's always changing. Right there, through there, you see that Starbucks on the right side? That's the first Starbucks ever in Japan. Um, I don't know if, you're, if you like the coffee chain, that's an interesting little historical tidbit. 1998, the year that I came, that was the only one that was around for, for a long time. And I believe, I'm trying to remember, but there was a, on the first McDonald's in Japan was on Harumi Avenue. Back in the 1970s, 60s or 70s, I know that they opened one up here, but it was on Ginza until about the 70s. And I guess this, should I say it? The smell angered the Ginza Shopping Association and they had to move the shop. But for, for McDonald's, it was a big step to have the first shop in Japan in Ginza because it's such a name brand it's Ginza in itself Tokyo is pretty is a pretty cool brand but Ginza in itself means something so you know having the first McDonald's here was a big step for McDonald's when it went global back in the 60s and 70s when it started to move ahead I believe it was 1974 the year I was born G-U-T-D, Visalia. Finally, I get to watch it live. 
you do. I just took off my mask here, get a little fresh air. There's nobody around really, kind of, in the middle of the city. Uh, really refreshing. This, this area right here that I'm showing you, this has all been redone over the last three years, two, three years. So if you're coming back to Tokyo, you're walking outside of Ginza a little bit, you'll find like, what just happened here? There used to be an underpass, and I think there still is. You can go underneath here to cut, cut across the street. But um, they have uh, new benches that you can sit down and have a picnic outside here. They opened it up a lot. See right here? And it's all brand new. It's kind of nice. I like the fact that they opened it up and you can relax here. There's the 300 yen bar down here where when I was in my uh, early 30s, I might have gone there and had a couple of drinks with some buddies. Might have done some mischief. I don't know things that you do when you're in, you know, an adult. I don't know. Gosh, I can, you can get trouble in these live streams. There's no one to stop. Pointing towards Toyosu Market and Harumi. I love showing signs. MWSG27, I was in high school in 74. What? So I guess, I guess in a way we're kind of same generation when compared to the youngins. <laughs> well, it's an awesome motorcycle. The other thing about Harumi Avenue, again, it cuts through some major, major parts of the city. You'll see some wicked cars going by here. I don't know. Japan, although it has really awesome trains, they have some really kick-ass cars. Can I say that? I guess you can. It's not that bad. You can just sit there and just watch the cars going by and it's amazing. So we, we passed Ginza Station, which is the Hibiya line um, and the Ginza line, of course. And this is Higashi Ginza. And you can see how close they all are. This is Higashi Ginza with the Asakusa line, the Hibiya line. So this is the Metro and the Toy line meet here at Higashi Ginza. But again, like Ginza Station is about a uh, two minute walk from here. And then for another five minutes, you're at Hibiya, Hibiya Station, and then Yurakucho Station, which is where JR is, is about 10 minutes this way. So it's all very close. Whoa, dudes, what? What is that? Car aficionados, right now, tell me what that is. Just say it. Don't spray it. Look at that, look at it. What is that? Orange car, I like that color too. Reminds me of a jacket I used to wear. It's a McCarran, McLaren. What? I know that those things can't be cheap. Oh, it's on the move! Oh, get, get to the intersection. I gotta get a clear shot. I was just talking about cars. <laughs> clear shot as it roars by. I know he's gonna rev it. Dude, rev it, rev it. Make trouble for the law. Do it! <laughs> Do it, do it. He's like going real quiet, like stealth mode. Ow, bus, don't block the view. It's an awesome car. While we're looking at that, there's probably like a dozen really awesome cars that went by and we didn't even notice it because we're so impacted by an orange one. I'll come here over here to the corner because I want to stay on this side of the road. Um, this is Showa Avenue, also goes past Akihabara Station. Uh, Chuo Avenue, which is where, it, oh, there it goes right there. No, bus, you blocked the shot. Oh, there it is. Rev it, rev it. Must be cops around here. It's not, that's not the rev I was looking for. This is Showa Avenue here. And um, Showa Avenue and Harumi Avenue. Asho Avenue is a really important street as well. Chuo Avenue is another one to know. If you know these three roads, you pretty much know uh, this side of Tokyo very well. Over there is Kabukiza, which is our goal for this live stream. So the peso equation does not hold strong today. I have some stuff to do. Kabukiza Theater was damaged during the uh, uh, 2011 earthquake a little bit and they renovated it. It took a few years. Um, and they, it, it was completed, I think it was about four years ago now, three, three years ago, the scaffolding went away. And then I found behind it, they built a skyscraper into its butt. Look at that. 
That's part of Kabukiza, that skyscraper. It's in its, in its behind, like its neck or whatever. So I thought that was really interesting. So we're gonna go get a closer look of that on Harumi Avenue here. And uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll see some more awesome cars. I don't know. Um, the Shutoko or the highway also goes underneath here. And I'm gonna show you something when we get to right here. Uh, I'm not going to fully cross the street for a second. There's so many things I want to show you. I'm only kind of scratching the surface today. Just scratching the surface. Right, the building is in its is the caboose of that building. You see it now? All right, I wanted to show you this underneath here. This is the Shutoko. I believe it's the Shutoko. This is the highway that goes, that cuts through uh, Tokyo. It's underneath the ground in this area. But why is it here underneath the ground? In 1964, when they were uh, doing the great, there's nobody around. When they were reconstructing everything for the 1964 Olympics, um, they decided that the quickest and easiest way for city infrastructure was to just drain the river and then put a highway along the river. So this road goes like this, that way, so where it's Nihonbashi. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see uh, to, when, you, when you drive that highway, which I've done a few times now, uh, going to Yokohama and going on the uh, uh, Tomei Expressway, going towards Nagoya. Uh, this, this highway stakes like this, and there's some, some places that are somewhat dangerous where there's like a pole in the middle of the road and the, and the lane's going in one direction. They kind of have to split for a second to go around the pole. Uh, 1964, they built up Tokyo so fast, but that's sort of the, uh, sort of the attraction. This here is, is Kabukiza, which is the main Kabuki theater, I would say in Japan. And I'm gonna eat here the, this mochi. It's not as crowded in this section. This is uh, Higashi Ginza. That direction is Skiji Market and Kachidoki Bridge. And you can just sort of make it out. Do you see the bridge in the distance? That's Kachidoki Bridge and the Sumida River. Yeah. Fuji soba. Oh, this is this used to be a staple when I was working as an English teacher, because it's like one coin under 500 yen. Everything is under 500 yen. Tempura, soba. You have some uh, like a look, gyudon looking soba. Some oya mini oyakudon with soba. Katsudon with soba. Ah, oh, that's so wonderful. I miss this. This is a little bit more than uh, one coin but everything 500 yen means one coin because we have a 500 yen coin. And it's so quick and easy. You just get, get a ticket, go inside, give it to the dude. He'll call your number and eat and get out. Very nice, very cheap, very good, very salty. Can't complain. So let's look over here at the map. This is the Chuo City area. We have walked along Harumi Avenue. And uh, if anything, this is the one that I think you should kind of remember. I, I like to, if you're gonna look for a hotel, it's really nice to stay along this road too, to stay along some of the big roads. Um, Kabuki Theater is going on. I believe they have massive social distancing and stuff going on here. But in front of here, we have some uh, woodblock prints. People often come here in kimono. And uh, that's another thing about Ginza. It does ha retain a traditional feeling to it because people do come to the performances and they come to this area in, in kimono, really th beautiful th silk kimono. And you can see here, some people have it. This is like a tuxedo, like you would wear this for an evening out or something. They take, they can take hours to, uh, to uh, get dressed in a kimono. 
Even for men, I know when I got married, I had to wear one. Like a real one. There's some sake barrels, and these barrels will be here until the 26th of, of uh, November. Very cool. So this is not an original building, but I'm sure it's built on the it's it's built on the foundation of the original building. But like all buildings in Japan, nothing is meant to be built and last forever. Everything is made of wood, traditionally. So there are always fires, and very little uh, of stuff still remains. Um, from hundreds and hundreds of years ago, Kiyomizudera in Kyoto, for example, goes back, what, over a thousand years, I think, and the, the, the wood apparently is still there. I don't know too much of the history of it, but I, I know that it goes back to like 700 AD or something. So while I was showing you that, I was kind of alcoholing my hands. Let's, so let's give this a try here. This is mochi from Ake Bono, a really famous shop. They branded in their brand there. I'm kind of excited about this here. Oh, the wind. Let me get, get to the side here. The basement here also has some gift shops and places that you can go. There's a escalator right there so you can get down into the basement. That looks like a nice burger. Nice. All right, let's give this a try here. I'm excited about this. Oh, it's so soft. Some, I believe that's rice flour on there. Nice. Mochi soft mm. wow big chestnut oh it's got it's got green tea anko in there do you see the anko the red bean paste is green from the matcha the chestnut has been roasted maybe even on an open fire Oh, that anko is so delish. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I don't think I can talk for like five minutes. Mm. Chew, chew, chew. <clears throat> A little bit of the history here. This is interesting. So the last building... Oh, they actually started the reconstruction before the, the earthquake. But the original building started in Meiji era. 1889 that's just like a, a couple of years after the meiji restoration uh, a couple of decades after the meiji restoration started 22 and this building was here until the the to the sh um um oh what, what's i forget that area okay meiji to uh, um ah oh, why can't i remember it my mind showa uh, uh, taisho 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 era there you go. When I see the kanji, I can remember. So they've had it. Um, there's the original kabukiza. And you can see that the style has changed over time. This one was until 2021, uh, 1921, which is about when the great Kanto earthquake took place. And then the design that we start to see more iconic until World War, the end of World War II, it looked like this. And then after World War II, they changed it into this. And then it kind of retained that design, except... They put a caboose on it, which is a massive skyscraper. It's it's really intriguing. And here are the uh, seating inside of there. And uh, there's the color, the orange, 
green and black, which is iconic. Um, kind of goes goes together pretty well that uh, for the the Kabuki theater. But they do have uh, social distancing, and they they are apparently have something going on here. And one of these days in a main channel episode, I will be focusing very much on Kabuki. I, I love the culture, and I'm intrigued about the history and to learn more about Kabuki theater, and I think a lot of you might be as well. There you go. That's the performance going on from uh, De uh, December 1st to the 26th. So um, there's some famous, uh, famous Kabuki uh, actors there. So um, Haru Harumi Avenue, knowing this avenue really is uh, really is important if you're if you're thinking of living in Tokyo, you're gonna want to know that the main streets, Harumi, Chuo, and Showa, those three avenues pretty much dissect this side of Tokyo, and they're important especially if you if you're in a taxi, and you need to get around the city. Knowing Showa, Harumi, and Chuo are pretty important. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope that you have a, a, a safe day, safe weekend. I'll be back in another live stream soon. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Like this video. Encourage me to do more street uh, view adventures, street view walking adventures. I got another one for Akihabara, I think, coming up soon. I've been to, I've been to, I got to go to another side of Akihabara. So if we can get to, a, if we can get to 1,200 likes on this video, I will absolutely go back there and start to do another Street View episode in Akihabara on another side of this of that area, which is very, very interesting. So bye-bye from Harumi. Thanks so much for watching.